Wow, man. The Chamber of Secrets is really dark and wet. Yeah, you said it. Um, what should we do? I don't know. What was up one light spell? Oh. Um, Hermione would know. She wouldn't know. Too bad she's petrified. It's um, true. Um, Lumos. 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 There we go. Uh, just don't worry about it. I'll lead the way. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, what is that? Oh, uh, that's nasty. Is that a snake skin? Oh, sick. All right, Ron. Here it is. The only room we haven't checked. <laughs> so dark. Lumos. Well, hello, boys. Alice Walker. Alice, Alice Walker. Rot, rot. Shut up. Well. I was wondering how long it would take somebody to venture down into my chamber of secrets. Look, Alice Walker, we've been looking for you for a long time. We, we, uh, we're trying to figure out and ask a couple questions about your story everyday use. You see, for Transfiguration class, we got an assignment that we had to read your story everyday use. And, well, we were just wondering, why are you so mean to black Muslims? Well... Ron, you see, the reason I had such a problem with black Muslims was that, you know, I was all for peaceful civil disobedience, like Dr. Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. However, I was very against angry, violent disobedience, you such as... Red wine? Such as, wine? you know, like the Black Panther Party, who were black Muslims. I didn't appreciate their violence that they, you know... Get out of here! Run, I swear! Run. Uh, quit interrupting Alice Walker. What? It's the best snack ever. I totally see it. Yeah. Ah, it's because that Malcolm X guy and all those Muslims are like mean. They're like Voldemort. <laughs> yeah, what a douche. I hate that guy. But what other things influence your writing? Yeah. Well, you see, I developed this writing style because I believe in listening to the trees, to the wind to the sea, but especially to the young black woman whose rocky road I am still traveling. Oh, that makes sense. I can't believe we came all the way down to the Chamber of Secrets to figure that out. Yeah. You're such an idiot, Ron. Well, you know, I'm glad I could be of assistance, boys. It gets lonely down here in the Chamber of Secrets when you have nobody but yourself for company for like 50 years. <laughs> Thank you, Alice Walker. Yeah, I guess we'll be heading out now. Yeah, see ya. Wait. Ah! Expelliarmus! Ah! You fools! You actually thought I was Alice Walker? You think she could have survived down here in the Chamber of Secrets with me, Voldemort, for 50 years? No! She cheated at guess who? She was a peeker! So Nagini ate her. S sorry about calling you a douche earlier. Let's get out of here. Wand. Where's my wand? Harry Potter, you fool! I've been waiting to kill you. You were lucky as a baby. Even luckier when you were 11. But killing you now? Priceless. There are some things money can buy. But for everything else, I'm gonna kill you! Avada Kedavra! Avada Kedavra! Avada Kedavra! Guys, there's something I have to tell you. What is it, Hagrid? Alice Walker is actually... Oh, Hey, Hagrid! Hey, Come on. I'm just big bone. No, no, no! That was Helio. That, that was so. That was so noble of you. He really took the bullet for you. Yeah. That really was noble of you, giving your life for a 12-year-old- Avada Kedavra! Ah! Whoa, whoa! Oh, how are we gonna get out of here? I don't... <laughs> uh, let's get out of here, Rod. Yeah, wh where are we going? <sighs> the door's closed behind us. Don't you dare run away from me! Oh my god! He can fly! Ah. You are rumbling! What's that loud rumbling? Oh my god! It's a giant snake! Oh. There's only one way out of here, Ron! Up! 
Oh my god! Oh! What's that giant red bird? Oh, it's a phoenix! Let's get on there! I'm grabbing its tail! Look at that! Oh! Harry, grab onto me! Oh, I'm grabbing onto you! Ah! We're on! We're on! Let's fly away! Into the sunlight. And that's how they made their escape. I wonder what that ginger kid left. Story. Hmm. Oh, Hermione Granger, you naughty girl. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey, Voldemort, hey, I, I, we just left our story here. I, I just gotta get it quick. Um, it's due tomorrow. I'll be right out of your hair, I swear. Um, the same time next year? Okay, yeah. Oh, oh. You know, forget it. I'm gonna take next year off, but I'll have something really great for you when you're 14. Oh, never mind. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll see you. See you, Baldy. Ronald Weasley and Harold Potter, you may come up and present now. Well, um, upon uh, doing our research of Alice Walker, we've uh, come to the conclusion that in the story Everyday Use, Alice Walker included um, events from her life such as Jim Crow laws with the segregation of her father as he was a sharecropper and the actual act of segregation through the example of her being shot in the eye and not receiving proper medical treatment and her close ties to her heritage have all, have all contributed to the overall theme of the story of the importance of holding on to your to your heritage and your ancestry in the course of changing times which was clearly demonstrated in everyday use through the character of D or Wagon 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 Wanjero Wanjero <laughs> Thank you professor Well thank you very much for presenting Yeah, I think we deserve a little time at the Quidditch pitch. Let's go. Yeah. You're a wizard, Harry. 